Hi. Um, I've been having symptoms uh, uh, over the last several years of uh, pain in my jaw, upper and lower, on, on one side of my, my mouth, accompanied with um, uh, clogging in my, in my left ear, uh, a feeling that, you know, like, like the kind of air pressure, uncomfortableness you feel on an airplane when you're landing or taking off. And at the outset, I pretty much ignored it until the pain began to get uh, relatively severe. And that was periodic. I wouldn't always have it, it would come and go. I eventually went to my, I started with my dentist because the, the pain seemed to be in my, my teeth. And the dentist did all sorts of checking and, and wasn't able to find any, uh, any kind of dental problem, root canal or cavity or, or whatnot. So he sent me to my general practitioner and we reviewed the same set of symptoms and she thought it might be an allergy because of the ear cloggingness and it's kind of the nasal congestion that sometimes accompanied the symptoms. So we tried um, various, you know, over-the-counter medicines, a Flonase type medicine for um, uh, allergy. I did that for several months. It, there was no, no uh, improvement at all. And then I had an episode, uh, this is now six months to a year has gone by, uh, with really severe pain in, in one of my, uh, in, the, in the lower jaw. Went back to the dentist, rechecked that, again found nothing returned to the, to the GP, and she suggested somewhere along in this relatively two, two, two and a half year period that I go see a specialist, uh, with ear, nose, and throat guy, which I, I've done, and that, that was so uh, now about four months ago, and at the outset, I was prescribed a nortriptyline, and took that in, in doses that you work your way up to, I think it's 40 milligrams eventually, uh, and that was about a month, and ever since I started taking the the relatively higher dosage, the four, uh, 40 milligrams, which actually it's, I think it's an antidepressant drug, so it's not a real high dosage in terms of uh, people who normally take this this pill. Uh, the symptoms have, have pretty much gone away, I'm close to 90% improvement, uh, I would guesstimate. The only thing that's left is periodic uh, the ear congestion sometimes in the evening when I when I go to sleep, but that goes seems to go away relatively quickly and hasn't disturbed my s s uh, sleep. As I told the doctor, if that was the original symptom, I wouldn't be doing this YouTube visit video or visiting the doctor in the first place. Thank you very much for sharing your story with us. I'm You're sure welcome. others will find it helpful.